Week 9 of the 2019 season sees the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling all the way to Seattle, take on the Seahawks and the 12th man. And this is going to be a real tough test for this Buccaneers team. Come this one, Russell Wilson, MVP candidate. But Jameis Winston hasn't been playing half bad himself here. He finds Chris Godwin to pick up the first down. Then after that, they come back second and 14. Winston here looking, tries pump faking, and then he gets nothing. He gets sacked by Ziggy Ansa, former Detroit Lion. And then here's Jameis Winston on third and 23. He's going to take a shot here to Mike Evans, who maybe should have been better off trying to bring that one into his body instead of trying to go up for it. He gets popped. Ball comes loose. And that'd be a punt by this Buccaneers team. And then here's DK Metcalf. Can't be brought down by the Tampa Bay defense. And he is going to be gone here for a touchdown. Seattle scores. Quick strike there. DK Metcalf. Absolutely insane. Who cares about his cone drill when he can do that? I mean, this guy, I mean, the work he puts in on his body is insane. Fast, has the size, has everything you want to see of a young receiver. Then here's Jameis Winston going up to Chris Godwin, who decides to play defense, and that's going to result in an interception. Blair able to pick that one off as Godwin decides to play defensive back, and Blair plays receiver. A little bit of a weird switch there. Not ideal. Then here's Russell Wilson here, has all day. They just couldn't generate pressure on him at all. End of the day, with only one sack and just two other hits on him. But apart from that, just a clean day for Russell Wilson. Wasn't able to get hit by anyone. And this Tampa Bay team, they can't generate pressure. And you put the pressure on the defensive backs on this team, it's tough for him. You see that right there once again. David Moore able to get right into the end zone. I have no idea where the corner was. Just bit on the fake and then the slant inside. That's just too easy. I mean, look at that. I have no idea what Sean Murphy Bunting was doing on that play. Just not ideal. Then after another three and out by Tampa Bay, here's Russell Wilson going up here to Tyler Lockett, who's able to come down with it in traffic. Lockett, 27-yard reception on that play. And then here's Russell Wilson again, second quarter, finding his man Wilson, able to pick up a nice chunk of yardage there. That's around eight. Our third and three. And here's Wilson now. Going to hand it off to Chris Carson. Gets jammed up, bottled up. And then there's blockers downfield for Stewart to safety. And Carson, he's going to be in the end zone for a touchdown. He got a little shaken up right there, I think. But either way, he would stay in the game. Now here's Jameis Winston. Going to find Mike Evans. He gets brought down at the 41. Nice play there. First down. And here's another handoff here to Peyton Bar. One of the few handoffs Peyton Barber only seven carries on the day 40 yards for him when you get down 21 points you just can't go around running the football all willy-nilly and then here's OJ Howard somewhat of a quiet day for him in this one some of the few times you see him in this game and here's Winston trying to find Cameron Brait he gets brought down at the one now Winston again Gets pressured, throws across his body, and that's nowhere near a receiver. That's going to be picked off his second of the day. And uh, prime scoring opportunity before the half goes awry for the Buccaneers. Third and eight now. Russell Wilson. Look at that beautiful ball pay placement. Linebacker tried picking that off. Just wasn't in correct position. Russell Wilson again here. Finding his man, I believe that was Moore again. He gets sort of dragged out of bounds there. Second and goal, Wilson has all day. There's Wilson again, but he gets disconnected from the football. Third and goal, play action look here. This is just too easy. And he finds his man in the end zone. Just not ideal defense that time. It's Ed Dixon coming down with the football. Able to make this a 28 to zero game as the Buccaneers just can't really do anything right today. Then here's Chris Carson. Terrible angle there taken by the defensive back on that one. And Chris Carson able to get extra yardage that he shouldn't have got. That should have been a tackle. That should have been short. But instead, terrible angle leads to a big gain. And then it leads to Josh Gordon, the crackhead, 
able to get a touchdown in this one. His first receiving touchdown of the day. Going to make it 35-0. to zero. So now here's Jameis Winston here. Going to have to get something going. Here's Mike Evans. Broken tackle. Missed tackle. And then Mike Evans. He's going to be gone in this one. 70 plus yards on the catch and run. And that gets the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the scoreboard. 78 yard touchdown. That was a nice play there. They needed more of that earlier when this game was still somewhat close, but it kind of got out of hand pretty quickly. Big play there for Evans. No one able to run him down. I believe he was playing out of the slot that time. Uh, hopefully you see more of that. Fourth quarter, Winston now drifting back. Throws this one up to Evans, who's able to come down with that one. First down, Tampa Bay. Now here's Jameis Winston again. This time Bobby Wagner on Evans. That's a, a mismatch for sure. As good as Bobby Wagner is, I don't know if you want to put him on Mike Evans in that sort of position. Then here is O.J. Howard, one of his other receptions in this football game. Third and eight now, Winston. Gonna roll here to his right. Gonna find Justin Watson, and he's gonna fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And that'll tie, or not tie it up, excuse me. That'll make it 14 to 38. It'll make the score a little less embarrassing. That's for sure. Watson, that was his only reception on the day. Able to come down with that one and get a touchdown. Just not an ideal day here for Tampa Bay as they're going to fall in this one to the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks just were the better team throughout the just the entirety of that game. Your final, Seattle 38, Tampa Bay 14, Jameis Winston 21-34, 261 yards, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Mike Evans, five receptions, 143 yards, one touchdown. And Justin Watson, one reception, 23 yards and one touchdown. Russell Wilson, 31 of 38, 443 yards, four touchdowns on the day for him. Chris Carson, 25 carries, 157 yards, one touchdown. Tampa Bay came into this game uh, really just shutting down the run in every other game this season, but Chris Carson was able to bust right through this Tampa Bay defense. And then DK Metcalf, four receptions, 144 yards, and one touchdown on the day for him. As Seattle improves to 7-2, and, and Tampa Bay falls to 6-2. So that game didn't go as I had planned, so uh, that kind of sucked. Um, that was just a tough game to play. And uh, we come back here, and we have an upgrade for our center. We're going to go power here because our run game has just completely gone away. And uh, we definitely need to get that going again with Peyton Barber and those boys in the backfield. And then here's Tony Brown, recently signed off the Packers practice squad. We're going to go man-to-man -man on him. Uh, I think he has some potential to be a really good corner for us um, going forward. And then we have a few more upgrades after we did some practice. Here's Devin White. And uh, this one is a little tough, but uh, what I wanted to go with him, he has run stopper. That makes him a scheme fit, but he just needs to be better in coverage. And uh, we're going to go there. Coverage for him. He's superstar. Um, I think I checked this last time, I'm not sure, but no, no abilities just yet. And here's Josh Malone, another guy that we uh, just signed off the practice squad, and a uh, deep threat for him. And that's a pretty nice upgrade, actually, so he should be seeing the field just a little bit more. He's a pretty nice player, nice speed. And then another linebacker, Kevin Minter, this guy just might be on uh, special teams, not sure, but upgrade for him, field general. That's all nice. And then so after that, next game, we will, we will be playing the 4-5 and five Arizona Cardinals. So for the season, we've done well against bad teams, so maybe we can feast here and get back to our winning ways in the next episode. And uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.